In this video, I'm going to do a walkthrough of how to use Reflex new AI assistant. It's incredibly powerful and there's a ton of things you can do with it, but I will walk through a couple here just to get you started. This here is a blog post that I found online and have saved to my Reflect note. I'm going to highlight the text and there's a couple ways to pull up the assistant. I can either click on the magic wand icon here to the right or use the keyboard shortcut command J. It's been specifically designed so that you can do everything through your keyboard and you don't have to use your mouse if you don't want to. So since this is a blog post that I found, I probably only care about the key takeaways. So I'm going to click list key takeaways. And below here, you can see the AI assistant starts listing them in the box. There's a couple things you can do once it's finished. You can click on replace. That will take all of the highlighted text and replace it with what the AI assistant put in the box. Uh, you can insert the text, which will just put it below what's already there. If you're not happy with the results, you can have it try again, or you can just copy the text to use it elsewhere outside of Reflect. Since for this blog article, I probably only care about keeping the key takeaways, I will hit replace. And going back up here, you can see the bullet point from the article that I can then save. The assistant's also very powerful as a writing assistant. So here I've got a couple sentences, let's say of a blog post I'm writing. I'm going to click the magic wand this time and let's have it continue writing in the same style. Same thing. It puts the results in the box here, but let's assume this time that I'm not very happy with the results. So I'll put try again. It's going to do the same prompt, uh, but to produce different copy. So I'll assume I'm happy with it this time and I will insert it below. And you also don't have to have existing text to pull up the editor or use the AI assistant. I will hit the command J shortcut here and it pulls up the same menu. So to do something creative, let's say in the open text box, I'll have it write me a poem about note taking in Arabic. And below, you can see it's writing me my poem. So it's very powerful and you can get very creative with what it does. Uh, so I'd recommend messing around. I've been using the open text box for a lot of things in my writing, like uh, coming up with historical examples, doing word counts, things like that. I'm going to copy this. I'll assume I'm going to send it to a friend later. You can also do custom commands. So again, command J, I will pull up the assistant. And let's say I want to write an email. So I'll type in email. And let's say I uh, want to create some copy for a podcast guest invitation. So I will say podcast guest invitation and then hit command return. And you see it produces email copy for me here. If you're using an email right away, you could click copy, um, but maybe I'll assume that I'm going to use this as a template for ongoing outreach. So I'll click insert there. So again, as you can see, a ton of things you can do with the AI assistant. The best way to get used to it is to just jump in, try it yourself, get creative, try things and see what works and what's useful for you. Once you've done that, highly recommend jumping into the Reflect Discord if you haven't yet. I'll include a link in this video, but also it's just reflect app slash discord. Once you're in, head over to the workflows channel and you'll see people sharing their general reflect workflows and more recently what they're using AI for. Uh, so you can see the prompts they're using, the use cases, and you can also share your own once you have them and help other people out. 